I would like to kind of go over how to begin planning your flipbook. So you're going to do it on a post-it note, um, and you're going to create 10 thumbnails that are kind of the major states of this uh, animation. So you'll notice that these aren't square, even though a post-it note is square. The usable section of the post-it note is kind of more rectangular because the adhesive covers at the top. Now, I don't want you to do anything too complicated. I just want you to pick a simple shape and make it do something. So let's say for this example, I'm going to make a ball or a sphere just kind of bounce across the frame, maybe bounce off the sort of wall in a pong-like way. So maybe over here, I'll start from up high and I'll take the little the ball. The next major bit of action is when the ball kind of hits the ground. So let's say it hits the ground right here. I want the ball to kind of compress and be a little bit egg shaped. And then as it bounces, it needs to bounce from the same spot upward, right? So this is going to go downward. And then from here, it's going to go upward, right? At a similar angle. And when it goes upward, the state is kind of going to be another little egg-shaped oval. So it's going to compress outward and then fling out. Um, then when it reaches the apex of its bounce, it's going to go back to being a perfect sphere, and then it's going to kind of crest and then go down again. So when it goes down, it's going to hit somewhere in this corner. So when it hits in this corner, it's going to compress again and then bounce again. So when it bounces again, it's going to go off of the corner, right? So when it hits the corner, it's going to have, a, have another compression and it's going to go that way. So this time it's going to go at a softer angle and lower so it's going to reach its apex here and kind of head that direction. And I'm going to guess that it's going to hit the ground before the corner again. So it's going to compress here and then head up onto that wall. It's going to hit that wall, right? Compress and then bounce again the other way, except lower. Maybe only go up to about here and then head down. And then for kind of a punctuation frame, if I want that, it'll just be on the ground and kind of roll that way. So that's a simple way to plan out a flip book uh, very quickly. And this is kind of what you would do to begin a sort of keyframe animation. You pick all your major frames, your keyframes, things where the state of the object changes or the state of the character changes.